police captain. All right, thank you, Jeff. We want to get back now to the press conference now that uh, Mayor Muriel Bowser talking now about the death of those four people in that house in uh, D.C. Let's listen. Uh, arson investigation. Uh, we, our fire department and police department responded to the 2900 block of Woodland Drive, Northwest Washington, D.C. yesterday, uh, 3200 block, um, about 1.30 p.m. Um, there we, we told you we discovered um, three of our residents uh, who were deceased, three adults, and, and one child. Uh, and today, the chief will be able to provide you with all the information we have um, about the identities of uh, the persons who were deceased um, and give you any uh, update that, she, uh, that we have available at this point about the homicide investigation. Chief Lanier. Thank you. Um, so to try and give you a, a s kind of a summary of what we knew from yesterday and update you on what we know as of today, I'll start off by saying that um, evidence collection is going to go on for several days. So there's still a lot more that um, we don't know, um, but are continuing to learn as we continue to investigate. We do know at this point um, that the fire uh, appears to be intentionally set. So this was an intentionally set fire and arson. Although autopsies are still being conducted, we have confirmed the identities of two of the individuals. Uh, those are the, the identification of the 46-year-old Savas Savopoulos, uh, the adult male, 47-year-old Amy Savopoulos, uh, female, his wife. We believe the other two victims, which have not been confirmed yet, but we believe the other two victims are 57-year-old Berylicia Figueroa, uh, a housekeeper, and the couple's son, 10-year-old uh, Philip Savopoulos. We anticipate, again, that this uh, evidence collection is going to take several days and that we'll have additional information as those days go on. We have, however, um, expanded our timeline a little bit in our request for information from the public. Uh, First, I want to say thank you to everybody who has provided information. We have gotten a steady stream of information coming in. Um, from people who, uh, who either lived or were in the area or who had some information they thought would be useful. And we appreciate that. It's been very helpful. We are now um, asking again for anybody who may have information about that 2008, the blue 2008 uh, Porsche. Uh, that is uh, the vehicle we asked about yesterday. It had DC tags, D as in David, K as in King, 2418. Even though that car was, in fact, recovered yesterday evening, uh, it was recovered out in, uh, on Annapolis Road in Prince George's County, Maryland, and it had been set afire. Uh, we are asking anybody that may have seen that car between Wednesday uh, the, the 13th and Thursday around 5 p.m. Anybody who had seen that blue Porsche between those times, we're asking you to please call us with what information that you may have uh, or where you saw that vehicle or any other information you'd have. Also, we're asking anybody that may have information or seen anything suspicious in or around the home in the 3200 block of Woodland uh, Road uh, between Wednesday the 13th and Thursday uh, the 14th around 5 p.m. Please give us a, a call. You can reach us at 202-727-9099. Uh, uh, we have anonymous text tip line 50411 uh, or any means you feel comfortable reaching out. I know people have emailed and, and reached out in a variety of ways. Uh, I want to remind folks that we do, for this case, like every homicide case, we have a $25,000 reward uh, for any information that leads to arrest and conviction of a, of a homicide in the district. So uh, again, we appreciate all of the uh, information that we've gotten. Um, I, I think the only other information that we have that is new, um, since we have started now going through the autopsies of the individuals recovered. We can say that there were, um, at least on three of the four victims, there were uh, injuries discovered, uh, appear to be blunt force or sharp object injuries to three of the four victims. So um, additional injuries uh, were discovered uh, through the autopsy process. So with that, I'll take what limited questions I can and see if I can answer them. So it's, it's still very early on, and we've got a lot of evidence collection to do and a lot of things to do. We, other than the entry made by the fire department, we have not discovered any obvious signs of forced entry. So um, we're continuing to collect 
information. Obviously, there's not many places in any area that you can go anymore that they're not video, so we've got a lot of video to review. Um, right now, we have nothing uh, to suggest that there was a random or forced uh, entry into this home, but it's, you know, we want to have a little bit more time to, to sort through the evidence. Do you believe all four of them were homicide victims? At this point, we do, yes. Thursday morning from Amy to say, don't come to work, we're all sick. Do you believe, do your detectives believe at this point that that was a text that may have been sent under duress? You know, as always, there's going to be a lot of information that comes from a lot of different places that, that I'm not going to be able to comment on. I, I, I'm aware of the information you're talking about. Um, I'm not going to comment on anything that is either speculative or maybe evidence in the case, so I can't, I can't respond to that. The Porsche. Um, can you confirm who owns the Porsche, and do you believe that whoever committed these crimes left in that car, set it on fire, and remained at large? Obviously, the the car is registered to the family uh, and the home. We don't know who uh, had the car, but obviously the conditions where it was, uh, in which it was found, uh, set a fire uh, shortly after they were discovered. We certainly want to know if anybody saw that car and who was in the car. Is there any surveillance video in that area? That you're I, I can't comment on anything that's evidence related. About one force or sharp object. Yes. The three of the mice. Were those the adult victims or the child? Yeah, I'd rather not. I'd, I'd rather not. You know, just the sensitivity for the victims. Not do that. I, I will. I'll just say that we the autopsies have not been fully completed, so I don't have anything additional right now. I can't comment on, on that because I, I just don't know the answer to that, Paul, about what the question was, uh, had the house been ransacked? Obviously, in the condition after the fire department goes in to put out a fire, it would be difficult to make that determination, and we want to finish the evidence collection first. Um, and so the other question that was asked uh, about video is, uh, if it's evidence-related, I can't, I can't answer the question. Can you say, is there anything you can say about why you're asking for information about Wednesday, both for the car and the house? Well, we're trying to expand our timeline a little bit. So uh, yesterday we only asked if anybody had seen the car in, a, in about a six-hour, seven-hour window of time. We want to start with Wednesday now and ask for anybody that have information in that time frame. Do you know of anyone that actually saw the family Thursday morning? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that at this point. I wouldn't comment on that. If, they, if it's evidence-related, I'm not going to comment on that. I can't comment on that at this point. Thank you very much.